This is the deck, a place that used to be a favorite hangout spot for the legend Sapat Sola. This is where Mr. Sola used to sit when he came to this place. And all his friends will be sharing all the memories they had with him. And to those who often wondered how the village Pope damaged his leg and started limping, now is the time to tell all. And that that's Pokabo 7273. Sapasula and the revived group Sankomota had already confirmed a six-month Europe tour, but COVID-19 happened. And I was going to be part of that, because I've always been part of Sankomotas, even before Sankomota, during the days of Uhuru. I remember Uhuru was the group that they had that was banned in South Africa in 1978 by the system of all the, the, the system of apartheid during the Foster government. So after four concerts, not even four, three concerts, they were kicked out of the country because of the music they were doing. You remember uh, Frank wrote a song that was called Africa Shall Unite, Africa Shall Unite. So they used to sing the song in this concert. So they were being monitored. They were being monitored and say, these guys are terrorists. They must pack and go. That's how they were kicked out of the country, South Africa, and back to Lesotho. And they were banned never to come back to South Africa again. <laughs> In a closed circle, Tsapasula was better known as BT, as narrated by one of his popularly known BT's son. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, How did you <laughs> <this go? laughs> that's what he used to call uh, 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 me. You must son, boy. Well, um, hey, myself and BT, we go a long way. Um, I met him when I was still a very, very young boy. Um, because of my, of course, talkativeness. You know, I've always been a, a talkative. So he was also talkative. So he took me under his wing. Um, so I got to get to know him more and more through his brother, Ditebo. Um, in fact, Ditebo was even the first person that I met because uh, he used to stay next to uh, my place. Uh, so we used to hang around in his house, play some mu good music, you know. Uh, he taught me quite a number of things. Then uh, came BT when he came to stay with him, and uh, he took he took over. He took over this uh, friendship and uh, took it to another level. Plans are food for the memorial service to be held in this coming week, as the nation celebrates his life. Uh, first of all, I will we'll have a look at uh, at these honors. You know, you have an honor. Uh, we have honors, but they also have four ranks. Each one, each honor, have four ranks from uh, member to officer to commander to knight commander. So I'm not quite sure which honor he has as of today, uh, but we'll look at that. It's, it's a, it's something for the future. As regards funeral or official funerals, this is a process that is determined by cabinet. I have two ministers working on it right now. They will make proposals to uh, to cabinet, so it's it's a decision we we'll, we will make. It is allowable that uh, people of the stature of Tsepotsula uh, 
after cabinet decisions may be considered for such a time. The government is also looking at several options in finding the ultimate honor fit for the legend. His music transcended we are all going home. Lesotho. It was enjoyed by a wider global public. That's how talented Tepotola and his mates were. So yes, he's, he's a sad loss to Lesotho. He lived in South Africa, it's a less sad, very sad loss in South Africa, but also globally. He will be missed. SABC has been reliably informed that the village pope will be granted an official funeral which will take place on Friday the 23rd at the Heroes Acre at Tababusi. He will be the second person after the historian Mr. Sidiso Ramahula to be given such honor. Rapelang Khatebe, SABC News, Masogolo Sudu.